Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm continuing Portal 2. Um, in our last episode, I accidentally woke Gladys up. And I think she crushed the other little guy. Or did something to him. And now apparently we're testing again. Yay. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. All right, deadly lasers. Where's the deadly laser? Huh? Hello? Whoa. go into the water this time because it would just kill me. Yeah, it's a musical laser. Look at that. Oh, shit. Ah, I see now, I see. Okay. I get it. That took Not an bad. embarrassingly long time. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Damn it, GLaDOS! I'm trying to belittle myself. You gotta give me time. As I was saying, I'm retarded, and that took way too long. Okay, let's move on. Watch out for those deadly lasers. Thermal discouragement beam. <laughs> <clears throat> this next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Come on, guys, behave. Oh, hey! Okay, so clearly I don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, he's all bent, so he can't do it. This thing, okay. Oh, that's creepy. I hate that. Oh, all right. That's what the weird clear cube was. Oh, it surely lets me have one. Okay. Well <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I did that by accident. <laughs> okay, so this changes the direction of the laser. Cool. What am I trying to do? Oh, okay. It's kind of creepy music, huh? That's cool. I like how it plays music. Ah, shit. I was supposed to walk into that. Are you serious? I need a cube? I can use the camera. Can I use the camera? 
camera? Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. I did it though, that was weird. I guess the camera doesn't work. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Damn! This whole thing is mobile, so I guess she can change the configuration of it. Okay, so here's my QB. What does this do? There's... No, I don't want to do that. You go here, and I'd like you to go. Why is the door not open? This one I can make go wherever. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Ah, right. Oops. That's not what I meant. both of them and now this I have to use the cube for. Congratulations. There we go. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. You fucking bitch, you called me fat. Called me fat. What a whore. One moment. 
You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Hey! nice to know she can just crush me at any second. Alright, that stuff looks bad. That looks like the liquid of death. What's over there? What does this do? Cube? Oh hey! Cube! Alright. Okay, so I now have a cube. What do I do with the cube? Maybe there's a button over there. There's probably a button over there. There's always a button over there. Oh god. You credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Wow. Somebody's butt hurt. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Thanks! So... This launches me? Oh, okay. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Wow. Those, uh, faith plates are pretty cool. I like the music. I still miss the jazz. Oh well. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass. By myself. Oh, stop whining, you bitch. That's... It... 
that's where they all got shoved. This is them. Remember how it shoved it through a wall? Oh, man. Sorry, guys. Is that a box? Looks like a box. still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them, standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Thanks. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. over him. He's broken. Oh, poor little guy. What's this? Looks like a water jug. Alright, let's not touch that. That's bad. Hey, there's a observation chamber there. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. 
I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Wow. She's a little mad at me. I have a computer calling me garbage. I don't know how I feel about that. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Bitch. Accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have hey. warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. She gonna get rid of it? Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Fuck you, I want my cube. She'll get rid of it though, I know. I Itch. think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. I tried. Sorry, QB. You guys happen to hear noises in the background? I do have a cat. She's having the kitty crazies currently. So she's running around chasing stuff. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Hmm? Hello? turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version, 
and the ugly people then I don't have time to get to see as soon as I can. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. I guess that's uh, their demonstration of the Emancipation Grill or whatever the hell that thing is. Well, the tests are a little different now. They're kind of short probably because I'm figuring them out kind of fast, maybe? sending a distress signal. You broke it, didn't you? There. Try it now. Believe what happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Hmm. This plate must not be calibrated to someone of your generousness. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. You look great, by the way. Very healthy. Try it now. Big bird, right? Couldn't believe it either. You seem to have defeated its load-bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Alright, where do I want to go? This is gonna launch me through something. Probably just through here. Oh, that was so weird. Okay. There's a cube, deadly lasers, and uh mm. And I probably would like to get up here. Or here? First here? Here first. Alright, let's go back here.
have to do it while I'm over there. Look at you, sailing through the air majestically, like an eagle, piloting a blimp. <laughs> what the hell? An eagle piloting a blimp? She's such a bitch. Enjoy this next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna stop this episode here. Again, I'm not really paying attention to the time. I probably should do that. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um... Again, these are probably very simple, very easy puzzles. So far, I'm, I guess the main attraction is Gladys Snark. But I imagine she's not very happy with me. I don't know if I would be either. I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, please leave a comment, leave a like, and I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.